Welcome to Discover Daily by Perplexity, your AI curated digest of breakthroughs in tech, science, and culture. I'm Isaac. Today we're exploring how scientists are developing a new view of evolution, challenging our understanding of how species adapt and change. But first, let's look at what else is happening. Our first story transports us to the world of digital crime. Security analysts recently dissected a monumental leak from the Black Basta ransomware collective, exposing unprecedented details about modern cyber extortion networks. This breach, first flagged by Bleeping Computer and later scrutinized by ProDaft researchers, reveals a criminal enterprise operating with corporate precision. At its helm sits Oleg Nefedovaka, a shadowy figure using aliases like Trump and AA to enforce a strict hierarchy. His lieutenants include administrators codenamed YY and Lapa, while an operative dubbed Cortez maintains ties to the infamous Quackbot botnet. Investigators identified a 17-year-old active participant, proof that cybercrime transcends traditional age barriers. Black Basta's playbook demonstrates chilling sophistication. The group weaponizes business intelligence platforms like ZoomInfo to profile high-value targets, then deploys a ruthless double extortion strategy. After infiltrating systems, they simultaneously lock critical infrastructure and threaten sensitive data leaks, with ransom demands peaking at $28.7 million before negotiated reductions. Their crosshairs focus deliberately on English-speaking nations, prioritizing critical infrastructure providers and multinational corporations, where operational disruptions carry maximum financial and societal impact. The leak itself unfolded with cinematic drama. On February 11th, a Telegram user known as Exploit Whispers dumped years of internal communications, allegedly retaliating against Black Basta's targeting of Russian financial institutions. This mirrors 2022's Conti ransomware exposure by pro-Ukraine hackers after the group supported Russia's invasion. The fallout has been immediate. Since early 2025, Black Basta's operations have stalled amid internal power struggles and accusations of member-led victim scams. For cybersecurity professionals, the leaked data provides an intelligence windfall, including 367 unique Zoom info links that illuminate target selection patterns. Transitioning from digital threats to medical innovation, researchers have developed MAL-ID, an AI diagnostic tool poised to revolutionize disease detection. This system deciphers immune system records encoded in B-cell and T-cell receptors from a single blood sample, identifying markers for conditions ranging from COVID-19 and HIV to lupus and type 1 diabetes. The technology leverages six specialized AI models to interpret molecular fingerprints left during immune responses. B-cell analysis proves particularly effective for viral infections, functioning like cryptographic code-breaking for immune histories. Conversely, T-cell patterns offer critical insights for autoimmune disorders, solving diagnostic challenges that often leave clinicians perplexed. Dubbed one-shot sequencing, this approach captures an individual's entire immunological narrative through one blood draw. Though still experimental, its potential spans early HIV detection to identifying lupus predisposition, years before symptom onset, a paradigm shift toward proactive medicine. Now let's plunge into today's evolutionary revelation. New research in molecular biology and evolution overturns long-held beliefs about how genetic complexity drives species evolution. By analyzing sea squirts and their free-swimming relatives called appendicularians, scientists discovered that gene loss can catalyze evolutionary innovation. This upends the traditional narrative that evolution primarily advances through new genetic additions. Appendicularians thrived by deleting 16 fibroblast growth factor or FGF genes, components crucial for developmental processes in most animals. This genomic simplification triggered explosive duplication of remaining genes, 
enabling radical physiological adaptations. Consider the numerical contrast. While humans possess 22 FGF genes, the Appendicularian Oikopleura thrives with just six. This streamlined toolkit facilitated their transition from sedentary seafloor dwellers to agile open ocean specialists. The implications are big. If strategic gene deletion drives major transitions, we must reevaluate histories across species. Could our vertebrate ancestors' success stem from similar genomic pruning? This new research suggests yes, suggesting this mechanism influenced fundamental anatomical innovations. The study also reveals hidden diversity. Genetic analysis uncovers multiple Oikopleura species masquerading as one, differentiated through pared-down genomes. This evolutionary minimalism demonstrates how constraint breeding innovation reshapes life's trajectory. The findings recalibrate nature versus nurture debates. What latent potential resides in lost genetic material? Could controlled gene deletion become a bioengineering tool? While speculative, such questions underscore how profoundly this rewrites our traditional view of evolution. Before we conclude, a brief note on our own evolution at perplexity. Our new deep research feature now analyzes hundreds of sources in minutes. Think of it as deploying a personal research team through our web and mobile platforms. Check it out. And that's it for today. Thanks for listening. And thank you for your fan mail. We work to incorporate every bit of feedback we get. So thank you for helping us make the show better. This is Isaac, reminding you that every change begins with a simple question. Why? Stay curious.